Today on Piker's Reefs, we review Mario's high-tech mixed reef. All right, so as the title says, back in uh, mid-2018, I had a, a call from my good reefing friend Mario, who um, was very excited to let me know that um, this tank that he'd been working on for so long, um, it was finally wet and had finished cycling and he was ready for some coral. Um, and being out of the game for a little while and um, just needing a little bit of a helping hand, um, he called upon me to help uh, hand pick out some frags and get them in his tank just to sort of get it going and um, start filling in a little bit of the rock work so we could sort of watch how things go. So um, as you can see from the video here, my uh, little helper and I um, went and hand picked out some um, corals and some frags from our own tank um, to bring up and uh, kickstart Mario's amazing tank. But um, I have to admit, even though I've been watching Mario's build of this tank, I, I was blown away by the um, equipment on it and um, uh, just how high spec everything was. So when I got the call six months later to come and help set up the KH Guardian on the tank and just check over things, um, I wasn't expecting a hell of a lot to have changed in six months, but um, as you'll see, how wrong I was. So here we are, January 2019, and uh, here's Mario's tank now. There's been a little bit of um, hardware change, but a whole lot of change on the coral side of things. Um, remember, folks, this tank's only been wet for just over six months, and um, <laughs> it looks like it's been wet for a couple of years. There's um, no shortage of coral. In fact, the, the only thing there is a shortage of is um, starting to be a bit of a, a real estate shortage um, in getting more corals in. There's still a whole swag of um, high-end equipment, um, uh, completely um, uh, led by that lighting fixture with um, the Radium Pros and the um, Giesman, um T5 arrangement um, with a really sleek looking fixture in the house. But um, anyway, you don't need to hear me talk about the tank. Let's um, introduce Mario and he can tell us about his story with the tank so far. All right, welcome to Parker's Reefs. I'm here today um, helping Mario out with his uh, beautiful uh, mixed reef tank and he's going to tell us a little bit about it. Hi son. Hey Mario, how are you doing? Hi, good son. Um, Thank you for coming again. Thanks for having us. Can you tell us a bit about um, your journey with the tank? I know um, you got off to a bit of a false start with this tank. Yeah, and, um, it was two years it took me to build it. Yes. So we started and I didn't mean to build it fast. I knew it's <laughs> going to be slow, but yes. I didn't anticipate two years. Yes. Well, uh, I wanted to get myself ready for it. It's complex. It's, Absolutely. it's marine tank, it's, it's, it's animals you've got in there, so you need to take <laughs> responsibility. For sure. So, um, I built it uh, with um, the initial store, it mm -hmm. wasn't the way I expected, the tank um, was put to the rubbish. Sure, it was a bit substandard. Substandard, so Billy came, he, he's built that tank, it's um, low iron glass. Sure. Um, That's Billy from Starfire, it's in Melbourne. Billy from yeah. Starfire. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Pretty happy. Uh, Nick uh, helped me with with the yeah, oil exclusive uh, gear. Yeah, let me just jump behind the camera and see if we can get all the royal exclusive equipment on there. So yeah. this this is the schema. It's yes. got cleaner built into it. Yeah. Um, skims really well. Uh, have no problem with that. It's got the variable speed pump, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, which is controlled through. Um, the side here. For sure. If I'll show the people some footage of the um, Apex yeah, setup you've got there, so which that's, is um, next that's level. That's the controller. Yes. Then we've got return pump, which is also Royal Exclusive Pump, 80 watts. It's mm -hmm. got variable speed. Then we've got another Royal Exclusive, which is for the monofold. Yes. And that's the similar looking. They all look the same. This yes. one is yes. a bit smaller Small. because it's only. 50. Yes. Running goes on only at night for a few hours, not to kill all the good bacteria to run it 24 <laughs> 7. Yes. Running carbon reactor and GFO. Mm -hmm. uh, GFO pretty much takes care of the PO4 and the Dr. Tim's bio pellet reactor. Yes. It's got 16 to 1 ratio between phosphate and nitrate. Yes. So it's taking care of the nitrate. GFO takes, uh, takes care of the phosphate. Great. Between those two, I have no problem with exporting the nutrients. 
There is little little meter two pumps mm -hmm. which you put me on. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like I'm without, a big advocate for the uh, liter meter auto water change system. Absolutely. Without these two pumps, I would not have run this tank. Yes. There is no way. Yes. I can't imagine myself driving the the buckets of oh. water, spilling the water and yeah. mixing it. I just I put remember. 30 liters there yes. if I want to and it does it for me. So Cost that. effective, yes. pays itself over time, yes. $100 per thousand liters. Yeah, makes a lot of Very good setup. Yeah, calcium reactor here. Yeah, you run a big geo calcium reactor there. Which, um, geo calcium reactor there. We were just so hoping to set up carbon dose regulator on it today. But didn't quite go to plan, but we'll, we'll get to that again shortly. It's definitely um, um, world-class equipment on this tank, there's um, no doubts about that. It's aimed to automate the whole process, and uh, the auto top-off is Tansy, and I've got two modules. One is allowing our own system to come up when it's needed yes. by itself, mm -hmm. and then that uh, osmolator is working with the pump. So, yeah. to so you've automated out. your reservoir as well as automating the top off. Yeah. Fantastic. Very yeah, nice. That's it. So that takes, there is a chiller. Mm -hmm. uh, nowadays <laughs> I can hear it working. <laughs> it uh, is pretty hot in Melbourne at the moment. So it's that's, pretty hot. Um, that's totally understandable. That probably explains a bit of the sweat on my forehead. So Tell us about some of the corals you've got in the tank. You've got some, well, some incredible truck of filler. You've got a hammer garden. You've got every Name dissolver I've, I've heard of in the last um, couple of years, all, all the exotic ones. Um, you've got some cracking SPS pieces in there. This may be different time, different uh, yeah, well, you're going to stories, you know. Definitely appear to be thriving, and there's not any in there at the moment that look unhappy. Yeah. They've all got fantastic extension around here, and it doesn't seem to matter whether they're in high light or low light, they're all um, That's right. standing quite nicely. Yeah, there's nice um, uh, mushroom lakes. Yeah, you've got um, some beautiful recordias there, which, um, yeah, some nice, I've, got to, I've taken some nice pictures of those, so I'll put those on screen so you can see that. Them. Uh, yes. And I, I'd like to share this with you because what I've done, I basically mixed um, coral um, CE. Yes. Yeah. Coral Essentials, yeah. Coral Essentials, um, Chrome and uh, chrome and vibrance. Vibrance, okay? yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. So the usual dose you would put in your tank, in my case it's 650 liters, I'm putting six drops. I yes. would put it in the container, yes. small container, six drops, six drops, mix it together with a bit of water, yes. and dip the, the rig in that for okay. about 15 minutes. Okay, yeah, so you're doing a, a, what they call a juice bath. Juice bath. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and work. it worked. Yeah, okay, right, right. It worked. Tell us about some of your other corals in here. You've got some amazing zoas. Zoas, I like. So, this tank, this tank is nine, nine, ten months old. Yes. It's got a long way to go. <laughs> For a tank that's under a year old, I mean, from being filled, um, you would never guess at the, the colours you've got, the growth you've got, and how happy the corals look. Um, it's a testament to the Thank you. time you've put in building it and um, the, the effort you put in maintaining it. Thank you. The, the lighting. We haven't mentioned there are four radians. Yeah. One of them four is uh, uh, G4 uh, generation. Uh, the G4 new one. Pros. Yeah. Yep, yep. And the three are very uh, pro. Sure, sure. And I put, um, for that reason, the light needs to spread because uh, the tank is narrow, so it needs to spread. So I put um, the diffusers in there. Yes. And and it's spreading well. Uh, Gasman uh, T5s, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so good, good housing. Um, it's beautiful housing, yeah. Yeah, it suits Go, exactly well. Yeah, it goes well with the uh, its purpose built to accommodate yes. uh, these uh, legs inside it. So, Aqua oh. Forest, and I got the Coral Essential Juice which I'm using as well. Fantastic. Two brands that I'm a big um, fan of for, for, too, yeah. for the same reason in that they both actually run coral farms, um, one in Poland and one in um, Cairns, Australia. Yeah. Um, they make supplements for their coral farm. <laughs> and to me, if their core business is growing and selling corals, they need them to grow as quick as they can and to be as brightly coloured as they can, 
Um, if they're making supplements for their own use, they must be good enough for our use. That's um, right. They're, they're not made in a, in a um, science lab somewhere where someone's got some theory and decided that that will be all the coral needs. They're actually tested in-house in their lab. Um, once they're happy with it, they sell it. Works for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, any final words you want to say about your aquarium? Well, it's a joy. You enjoy it's a it? Joy. I, I sit here, I watch it, and my mind clears up. <laughs> That's good. You got to you got to enjoy the highs of the hobby because there's no shortage of lows. There's always challenges mm -hmm. and things not working as we expect. So uh, that's another uh, subject altogether. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it happens to so all to, of us. To, get, to get that reward in that joy, yes. to watch it, you need to take care of it. Yeah, so, exactly. Yes. Um, it's complex. I'm not never going to stop learning. Uh, by the way, you know I can see when I access more information, I can see that, okay, this is just a part of this, you know, big thing. Yes. And then I branch out from there and, you know, the road is endless. In each direction you go, yeah, <laughs> you right, just yeah. start it's reading just and then yeah, exactly. if you're ignorant, well, you think you know everything. Mm -hmm. You know what's PO4, NO3 and, and uh, temperature in your tank and that basic, you know, lighting and that, and then you, get around this pretty well, but then you think you know everything, but it's just a scratch of the surface. Yeah, it's so right. much to it that the only person who is angry for that knowledge finds out when he... I think that's the draw to the hobby is that um, it's impossible to master. We can only no. learn more and more. So um, you can't, it's not like a video game where you can complete it and um, you see the credits roll and that's it, congratulations, this, this, you learn constantly every day. Unless you're a bio, biologist and you spend your five, six years of study yes. and then you've got very good foundation to yeah, understand yeah. all that and that's a, another game. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Alright, well I think this probably um, covers most of the things that we can um, talk about without um, having viewers watch all day long. Um, <laughs> I've been here all day so I just let... Um, uh, your wife and yourself and your family um, eat dinner and I just get on the road back to No, no, you're family. welcome to stay with us for the dinner. <laughs> That's fine, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. And um, yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Cheers. Thank you.